Hello, my dear students and parents. This is uh, day four of the 21 days uh, self-discipline, protective discipline of social distancing that is suggested by the government. Please follow the instruction. Take care of yourself. Do all the preventive steps the government is asking you to do it. Wash your hands, keep yourself neat, clean, don't go out anywhere. All this is very, very, very important. I want to talk to you about a very important um, uh, point of view of this. How long are we going to remain in the house? How long are the shops and business houses, schools and colleges are going to be closed? If the epidemic lasts for six months, if it is going to last for eight months, what will happen if we do nothing other than lockdowns and cleaning ourselves? So the phase we are going through is very important. We should do it, but we need to think beyond. Our uh, mankind has witnessed a lot of challenges right from the plague to swine flu if you go through the history of mankind every hundred years i'm told that some such thing occurred and we have managed all that so we need to take care of ourselves immediately at the same time look at something beyond this face charles darwin said it is not the strongest species that survives, not the most intelligent, but the most responsive to change. Every word is important. It is not the strongest of the species. You heard about dinosaurs. They lived for uh, about 230 million years. 66 million years back, they were there. Huge, strongest animals. Some of the movies would have seen the dinosaurs. Very strong. Even if you shoot them with the AK-47, not a bullet will pierce them. But how did they die? There are a lot of theories. One theory says the brain was too small compared to the body and it could not process information fast. I do not know whether it is the theory which uh, explains the death of dinosaurs. But the fact is that the strongest of the species does not live. So the question is how are we going to adapt ourselves in the years to come? Let me give a few examples. There are certain things which you have to take it for granted. I'm sure you have gone to some temples in a mountain area where there are a lot of monkeys. If you go to Tirupati, if you go to Sholinga, you will find a lot of monkeys there. You take it for granted that monkeys will be there. You should know about two things. You should know about monkeys and you should know about yourself. So you should know about monkeys and you should know about yourself and adapt Maybe you have to take a, a stick with you or you have to take certain preventive measures. The monkeys will come and snatch the bag. You should know the monkeys will do that. The second example, if you have to go through the forest, you should know about two things. You should know about the forest and you should know about yourself. If you cannot help but going through the forest, you have to equip yourself. There will be insects, there will be snakes, there will be dangerous animals. So you go prepared. You don't avoid going through the forest. If you have to go through the forest, you have to go through the forest. Similarly, if a snake enters your house, you should know two things. You should know about the snake. You should know about yourself. 
If a snake enters my room just now, I know about the snake and I know about myself and I will avoid any confrontation. But if the snake enters a place where there is a snake shawma or there are experts who can catch the snakes, their response will be completely different. This is what Charles Darwin is talking about, response. If you look at the various challenges, examinations have become very tough. You look at the plus two um, CBSE or state board exams compared 20 years ago, it is tougher, but the children have adapted themselves. Competition in the marketplace has become tougher. It's not anymore a monopoly of a few companies. Hundreds of companies will compete with your products. If a company has to survive the competition, the company has to adapt itself. Simple thing, you take the road traffic. Is it the same which was about 20, 30 years ago? Bumper to bumper traffic. So you should know about the traffic. You should know about yourself. So adapt yourself. Response is very, very important. Similarly, in dealing with this epidemic, while we have to protect ourselves with this, which is very, very sensible thing to do, how are we going to manage? I would like you to make a note of four words I'm going to mention. Outcome, process, knowledge, skill. Outcome. Let's say that I go to a mountain or a temple when there are monkeys. What is the outcome I want? I want to go safely with my bags intact. I want to return. That is the outcome. So what is the process? I should know how to deal with the monkeys. How can I do that? Knowledge about monkeys, knowledge about myself. I should go and ask people. They will tell you how to do it. And I should practice it. And so my knowledge of dealing with the monkeys my skill, I change my process, I carry a stick with me and my outcome is reached. So in this case also, my dear children, parents, panic will destroy us. Intelligent thinking will save us. I was reading a small little article somewhere. In Japan, things are normal. They say normal life goes on. What they have done, they have adapted themselves. They use hand sanitizers. They keep themselves very clean. And when uh, they go out, they are very careful. This is what we are trying to learn now. Especially in our uh, society, cleanliness is not the common knowledge of all people. We don't clean our hands. We don't keep ourselves clean. We spit every places. We were not maintaining the social distancing which our forefathers taught those days. So students, I want you to think about it. From today, take it as a lesson. Be clean, wash your hands, protect yourself, insulate yourself. Isolation is not a permanent remedy. Insulation and isolation, intelligent thinking, always keeping yourself neat, these will help you to overcome this. So think about it. Supposing if the epidemic is going to continue, my common sense tells me for a year, the schools cannot be closed, the colleges cannot be closed, business houses cannot be closed, but they have to be monitored. So the government is working at that. The scientists are working at a, a solution, a medicine for this. At the same time, Redefine your lifestyle, change your habits, respond intelligently. I am sure you will be able to find a permanent solution. Security and safety cannot be from outside. They are also an internal matters. On our part, let us change our lifestyle. Let us be clean. Let us use hand wash, not only during this period, forever. Before I conclude, let me give you three mantras. Make a note of it. What if, so what, 
what next? What if? Yes, we're going through a very uh, critical phase, an epidemic, we don't know how to manage. What if? So what? So what? We have seen many more challenges. Life is full of challenges, suspense. What next? How are we going to challenge it? How are we going to deal with it permanently? Think about this. SRMJV is not just a school, it's a one-time experience. VM Nagar, Tiruvallur.